Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in my normal spot once again. And it is the last day of Heartland Week. So I thought I would talk about my favorite parts of Heartland because I've done this for the Hall Slipper and I've done it for I think I might have done it for Waltons and Lord Tavernly as well. Again, not sure. So First, I'd like to start with my favorite season. Now, with Heartland, I actually have my favorite seasons all listed in an order. And that order is season 8, season 4, season 10, season 6. And I'm lost. Pretty much my favorite season is season 8. At the bottom of my list are seasons 1, 12, and 13. So then 11, 9, 7, 5, 3, and 2 are somewhere in the mix. And my favorite episode of all time is season four, episode ten. Mood swings or growing pains or whatever it's called. Um pretty much episode time made me break up for the first time. And the reason is because it gives you that sad feeling and It's a sad episode, so I don't know why I like it, but I do. Especially since that whole break was pretty much, the whole breakup was a lot, but it's the thing about trust issues. And Amy was right, I should have told her about Blair. But he didn't. And Amy should have stopped herself with the chase and all that. Because, I mean, they both, they both betrayed each other's trust pretty much, and that, I like that because I like trust, and it was also, and like Amy said, season five, sometimes a break makes things better, which was part that I like, because it's character development, and you know I'm all about that character development. Um, favorite character is Ty. And although Jack's up there, but Ty is my favorite character. Um, and my favorite part about Heartland is, I mean, it's set in Alberta, and like I mentioned, um, my mom's cousin, so therefore that be my my first cousin once removed, or my second cousin, I guess. Um, owns the ranch they film on, so I have personal connection to it, and I've never been to the ranch, but. Maybe when this quarantine's over, I think I might be able to go, but we'll see. Um, uh, but my favorite part about it is that it's all, it is in Alberta, so it does, and it does deal with like the you know beef farming, which Alberta is all a part of, part of oil, which Alberta is a part of, and it is modern. So, and as you can recall, I did cover in my should it be a Christian, my if you should be a Christian show in about why it is a Christian. It's modern times, and I get that, because how to a dragon, it's Viking times, so it was their culture to, and religion to believe in other gods, which, and then with, like, Little House on the Prairie, Walton's End, Road to Avonlea, it's, it was part of that, pretty much. Everyone went to church, whether they believed it or not, everyone went to church. If, if they weren't Christian, they went to church, if they believed in God. Um, and then with Hardland, though, it's modern, so God isn't as important in modern times. He's important to me and all the other Christians and believers, but we still kind of set him aside in our lives. Which is why there is no Christian show. So I can't see I like the church scenes, but my favorite scenes are when they're riding and seeing the beautiful country. That's the part I like is... I like the mountains. I live in the val a John Heller Valley, so it's hills, so but I still like the mountains. Everyone likes the mountains. Actually that's not true. Some people don't like the mountains. But the part I like about Hardland is that it's a modern show and they deal with modern world issues kind of that the younger audience can relate to. And like I said, when the show came out I was three. So if I ended up starting watching it when I was like 10, I would 
that means that they would be in season eight, which just happens to be my favorite season. Actually, no, that would make sense. Though. Season nine. Eight or nine, one of the two. Um, but, yeah, the problem with like is they have mind beds that can lead to more annoyances. So they have Jack, you know, the gruff, tough father figure, which fathers can relate to. Um, Amy, which most of the horse obsessed girls would like. Georgie, who is pretty much your typical teenager, so teenagers can relate to her. And so on and so forth. They have real world issues that people can relate to, whereas, I mean, all the shows, like, deal with stuff that deal with in their time, the work in their times, but they still. And, but the hard line, because it is a modern show, they have the modern issues, which you can relate to, which is one of the things I like about Heartland. So, that's going to be it for this video. Stay tuned for next week, where I get back into Little House Week. And I'm sure this video will like subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment down below on your favorite parts of Heartland. See you. And